Welcome to Agenda Edina, a news program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. A new luxury high-rise building is being proposed in the Greater Southdale area by Ryan Companies. At a meeting earlier this month, the City Council reviewed a sketch plan for Estelle Edina on nearly four acres of land at the southwest corner of 69th Street and France Avenue. Two towers would include 158 new owner-occupied units, including six townhomes, 15,000 square feet of retail, including a restaurant and two banks, and a public plaza with extensive pedestrian and vehicle connections through the site. Tonight we are here to present to you a project that will become iconic for the city of Edina. It will set a great precedent for quality on future projects. This dynamic project, Estelle Edina, incorporates the Edina long-term vision of connectivity, community, accessibility, walkability, and will become a destination. The taller of the two buildings would be 24 stories, becoming the tallest in Edina. Currently, the tallest buildings in Edina are the Park Plaza and Weston Edina Galleria at 18 stories, Edina Towers at 17 stories, and the Durham Apartments and Point of France at 13 stories. Council members gave non-binding feedback on the proposal and indicated some concern with the proposed height of the buildings. It it is this sense of um, foreboding almost when you have a really tall building that close to your backyard um, that whether people can really look into your backyard or not, I'm not even sure it matters. It feels like they're looking into your backyard. It feels like it's sort of um, imposing on you. If the development company decides to move forward, they must seek a comprehensive plan amendment to increase the density and rezoning of the property. The City of Edina's high bond ratings have been reaffirmed. Independent bond rating agencies Standard & Poor's and Moody's Investor Service recently affirmed their high marks for Edina, which is one of just a few communities in the state with AAA ratings from both agencies. Moody's Investor Service in 2000 gave the City of Edina its highest rating. In 2002, Standard & Poor's upgraded Edina's general obligation bond rating to its highest rating. It really goes back to what the city, you know, previous city councils and staff ha have done. Um, the credit rating really is an indication of kind of the city's fiduciary responsibility of the city, of the residents and the taxpayers' uh, money. You know, not many cities have it in Minnesota, uh, a total of 11 cities which Edina is one, which uh, of about 850 cities in Minnesota, says a lot about the community. The high bond ratings help ensure that Edina debt is issued with the lowest possible interest expense and cost to the taxpayer. The Edina City Council on June 6 awarded the sale of nearly $18 million in general obligation bonds to finance various public improvements within the city, including street and water utility improvements and renovations at Braemar Golf Course and the Edina Aquatic Center. History will be made in Edina and the rest of Minnesota on July 2nd, when liquor stores begin opening their doors on Sundays. Edina TV's Don Wills has more on how Edina Liquor has embraced this change. Edina Liquor staff has been busy preparing for the first day of Sunday sales. You know, all three of our locations, so Grandview, 50th in France, and, uh, and here at Southdale will all be open uh, from the, uh, the allotted 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, certainly keeping up with, uh, with the competitors around us. With the addition of Sunday liquor sales, Furbish did some creative shifting of operating hours in order to keep labor costs low. What we did do from an operational perspective was take a look at the hours that we were currently open and made, um, uh, made the decision to open later during the course of the week. So instead of opening up at 9 a.m., we now open up at 10 a.m. Um, so that really only put one additional operating hour uh, onto our scheduled work week uh, from where we were in, uh, in, in years past. 
Furbish is also keeping the liquor operation's financial goals in mind when planning for Sunday sales. Certainly have some targets that, that we're hoping to achieve uh, by scaling back that, uh, that 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., for instance. Uh, that only represented about 1% of our annual revenues as is, so most certainly we plan on making that 1% back throughout the course of the day on Sunday. Um, our target for an actual increase with this is about 5.5% is, is what we're hoping to bring in an additional revenue. The Edina Liquor team believes that customer service is still the number one priority. Customers wanted Sunday sales, so uh, when the legislature put it through, we want to be there for what our customers want. Several customers are excited. I mean, I've heard it building up as we go along, too. I think they're excited to have another way to, to shop, another day that a lot of people have days off. So it's a great way to, to round out the, the week and get the necessities you need. Football season is going to be the, the big deal. I mean, with Sunday going on, you can come in and get uh, whatever you're looking for. Get set, get your friends over, have a great little NFL party going, and uh, just have a lot of fun. So whether you are buying for the big game or buying a bottle of wine for dinner, Furbish reminds residents that shopping at Edina Liquor is good for the community. One, the scale of Edina, just with the amount of enterprises that we have through you know, Parks and Rec and our golf course and our arena and things like that, uh, we provide a lot more to this community than a lot of cities do. And uh, you know, with all of our profits essentially going back to them, it helps subsidize all those areas. So uh, you know, what you enjoy at the Art Center or what you enjoy at Centennial Lakes, we help improve those things um, for all of the residents and, and the folks that come into the community. From Edina Liquor, Don Wills, Edina TV. Sunday sales aren't the only changes coming to Edina Liquor. Management also plans to roll out a customer loyalty program along with several clubs for aficionados of certain liquors. Thanks for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.